Hi guys, it's Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Let's do another worm test. This time on these foam peanuts. Uh, they're known by a lot of names. They're basically a void filler or a packing material. Uh, early ones were um, polystyrene and I think they still make some polystyrene peanuts. But these ones are actually made from a cornstarch. So they are biodegradable. They actually dissolve in water and because they're a, uh, a cornstarch product the worm should eat them so let's try a sample and see how we go now I usually save these um, peanuts because I'm I do a lot of eBay work and I'm always looking for packaging materials but uh, in the interests of science we'll do a test on these and see if the worms can handle them because I would imagine some people get them in the mail and uh, aren't likely to reuse them. And then the, the worry is, do they put them in the rubbish bin? Can they go in the green waste bin? Will the worms eat them? What about the compost bin? So as long as you're sure that they're the cornstarch ones or a natural material and not the polystyrene, and the easiest way to do that is just to submerge them in water. And I did some just before. And look at that one. It's almost melted away to nothing. So the moment you put them in the water, they'll go slimy and you'll tell straight away that they're uh, the natural product and then they'll be fine for the worm farm, which we'll do this test to show you, but also the compost bin. Uh, and I think you can actually put them in the council green waste bin, but you do need to establish that they're not the polystyrene ones first. Okay, now I've decided to um, add some more to this pile rather than just spreading them out thinly. Uh, and I've made a decent pile here. The reason being that they kind of do melt away and uh, I want a decent amount for the worms to get into. So I'm going to spray a bit of water on here with the hose. And they'll start to dissolve a bit. It'll dampen everything down a bit. I'll put the carpet over the top now and dampen that down as well. And we'll check it in. Uh, I'll give it, perhaps give it a week because there's a lot there. They should melt down and the worm should be starting to get into them in a week's time. We'll check back then. It's been just over a week, so we should have a peek at how the worms are going with these foam peanuts. Well, they've certainly melted down. They got quite sticky by the looks of it. Uh, and there's worms in there. So no issues there. It looks like they're going to eat them. But I did read that uh, cornstarch, which I think these things are made from, does take a while to break down. And even though it's um, it's water soluble, these have gone really gluey. So even though they do dissolve in water, I think as far as breaking down and bacteria getting into them, they uh, perhaps aren't as as good as they could be. But uh, anyway, we'll um, keep this experiment going. I'll check. I'll leave them another week. Uh, there's certainly worms getting in there. Look over the back here, there's quite a lot getting in there. So I think as they break down more, they will be consumed much quicker, but it is going to take a while. So we'll give it another week and we'll check in then. Another week has flown by and it's now time for the final check on the uh, foam peanuts. And wow, look at that. They've certainly broken down and there's a massive worms there. Beautiful. So they clearly like these, but it has taken a while for the cornstarch to break down. It's gone really soupy there. Lots of bacteria, and I guess that's exactly why the worms are there. Uh, the ones around the edge are still visible and they're very, as I said last time, they're very gluey. They're like... Um, like a flower sort of clag type effect but that's I guess that's the breakdown process but there's definitely no issues with the worms getting in and finishing them off so that's good to know so you can tick that one off your list there's no problems with these foam peanuts going in your compost or into your worm farm there was a fair pile here and it looks like they've handled them all pretty well um, but as I said right at the start you really do need to make sure that you're not putting polystyrene in your garden or your compost so check that easy water test and you can check that and uh, there you go you know know what to do with the natural ones feed them to your worms or put them in your compost thanks for watching 
Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've always got worm tests coming along, doing lots of other recycling stuff as well. I'd appreciate some comments and uh, maybe subscribe to my channel. Catch you next time. Cheers.